Welcome to Deep Sea Supply Instructional Videos. This video details how to lace a stainless steel buckle. One style features three slots, with the first slot wider than the other two. All three slots are located near one end of the buckle. For clarity, I will refer to the side of the buckle away from the diver as the top, and the side next to the diver as the bottom. Start by passing the webbing down from top to bottom through the larger first slot, and then back up through the second slot. And back down through the third slot. The first slot is wider because the webbing passes through it twice. The webbing must be cleanly cut and heat sealed without any burrs or lips. Even so, passing the webbing through a second time requires some effort. The tail of the webbing will now be pointing back towards the main webbing to the diver's left. Note that this buckle won't weigh flat until the webbing has taken a set. Adjusting this style of buckle can be quite difficult and typically requires unlacing almost all of the webbing. This is of little concern for a weight belt where the buckle position is seldom adjusted but can be challenging when setting up and adjusting a new Hogarthian harness. The deep sea supply style buckle also has three slots, two near the back end and the third near the front end. All slots are the same size. This buckle is laced by passing the webbing up through the first slot, down through the second slot, and back up through the third. This is quick and easy. These buckles tend to lie flatter against the diver. The excess webbing projects beyond the buckle, not back to the diver's left side. We recommend leaving 8 to 10 inches projecting until the diver is satisfied with their harness adjustment. This excess material will not interfere with the function of the buckle. These buckles are enormously secure. There is no risk of the buckle sliding on the webbing. Adjusting the deep sea supply style buckle is far easier. This is a great help when setting up a Hogarthian harness. Unlike a weight belt, both the length of the weight strap and the position of the buckle relative to the diver are often adjusted several times during initial harness setup. Once the diver is satisfied with their harness adjustment, they have the option of trimming the excess webbing we recommend leaving two to three inches projecting beyond the buckle. Note that some care must be used when inserting the webbing into the buckle. Make sure the right hand or free end of the waist strap is not trapped under or behind the excess webbing projecting from the buckle. With the free end on top of the webbing, it's easy to feed the webbing into the buckle.